what's up guys you're welcome to emacom tv where we publish news on politics and entertainment we have another trending news for you today and the headline you read nam the kind react to audio zakalo's freedom orders the federal government to release the three other detainees all right before i proceed with today's news please if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel there is a red subscribe button below this video just go ahead hit on that red subscribe button now click that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates all right here are the news in details the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazinam Dekano, has reacted to the freedom of former Abia state governor Oju Zakalu, who was initially sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for money laundering. Nam Dekano also asked the Nigerian government to free three other people who are still in prison. He said, God Almighty, Chuku Okike Abiyama takes all the glory, but I must also say that the moderately reasonable Amajuri judge that squashed the original conviction should be commended for saving Abakari and the rest of the core north from damaging scrutiny and global shame. Those that ignore our warning do so to their own peril. We have set Oju Zakalu free today, and while all reasonable Igbos are happy, I am also looking forward to hearing the same about Olisameto soon. They are other victims of this lopsided prosecution. They are incarcerated and must be released until all stolen money by this cabal is accounted for, starting from nearly 14 billion Naira Asura clinic they looted from 2015 to date. I am calling for an end to selective prosecution and the immediate release of the following people Joshua Darie, Jolie Inyame, James Bala Ingilari. Until such a time that Nigeria is serious about prosecuting all looters, nobody should be in prison. You cannot be jailing Christians from the Middle Belt and South in the name of fighting corruption. Why Fulani Arch Luthers are jostling for who will be the next chief of staff and and in de facto president. Such injustice is what we are against, not your fight against corruption. All right, uh, what do you guys think? This is Nam the Kanu. He has just uh, reacted to the release of Ojuzo Kalu from prison, according to him. He said the judgment that actually sentenced Oju Zokalu to 12 years imprisonment was lopsided and it was a partial judgment. According to Naam Dekanu, he said that until such a time as those Fulani, you know, Sami Oligaki, those Fulani uh, um, leaders have actually accounted for the money stolen in Nigeria, nobody should be in prison. According to him, he said he is not against he is not against the fighting of corruption. He's not against the fight, but it must be just and it must be fair. You know, according to him again, he said that if you if you if you look at it, as I when um Audio Zakalu was sentenced, people who actually commented on it or who analyzed it said that this judgment is against Christians. It, it appears as if Christians were the target. You get me because if you look at Joshua Dari is a Christian, Olisa Metu is a Christian, Oju Zakalo is a Christian. So people said that what about those other past governors? Where are they? Doesn't mean that they are so clean. Doesn't mean that EFC gives them a clean bill of health. You get it. So those are what people actually said. That was last year when Oju Zakalo was sentenced. That it appears as if this is a lopsided you know, um, a fight against corruption. It's a lopsided fight against corruption and as such, it should be it should be condemned. And again, now they kind of also said, again, yeah, I think one of the things he said, uh, he said that, um, that as a rock cabal should also account for the 14 billion that has been stolen from the nation's coffer, you understand me, for the as a rock clinic. Asura Clinic was a budget was actually allocated to Asura Clinic and it was 14 billion. That is, if you count from 2015 till date, 
the budget for Asura Rock Clinic amounted up to 15 14 billion naira. And you know, you all know that um, Aisha Bwari raised a lamb few years back. She raised a lamb that she went to Asura Rock Clinic and could not even see even a panadol. Even a panadol was not seen in Asura Rock Clinic. That's where she raised an alarm that what has been going on? What is wrong? What about the money allocated to for Asura Rock Clinic? And you can see here, because of the negligence, because of them, you know, ignoring the health sector in Nigeria, you could see how this coronavirus is taking each of them one after the other. They are biting the dust. How many emirs have died? How many House of Assembly members in the North have died? Several of them are de dead. They've kissed the dust. You get? So I'm beginning to look at it that this coronavirus, God is using coronavirus to shut down a lot of our leaders who have who have who have you know punished the poor and sold this country to you know to the devil so that is it so that is what damn the can and he is also calling for the release of Joshua Darie that is Nam the canon noun and Jolie Yame and James Bala Ingilari and also Olisa Metu that this fight is a perceived fight against the enemy remember even um Ojo Zakalo when Ojo Zakalo himself was actually sentenced to uh, 12 years imprisonment last year, December, you know, a, a lot of people saw it that it it appears as if it was against, uh, Audrey Zekalo was nursing 2023 20, ambition. And he knew better because he said when he was sentenced, when that judge sentenced him, Audrey Zekalo screamed and said, it is because of 2023. You get that was why he was actually sentenced and remember also too he is a senator and also a chief whip of you know of the senate he's a chief whip of the senate but there's something he did that actually made him otherwise if he did not make that move against apc i think they wouldn't have sentenced him i believe so they wouldn't have sentenced him. and that is why the the fight against corruption is lopsided i'm not trying to say audio zakalo is not is a saint and that is not corrupt he is highly corrupt he is very 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 corrupt in fact all our governors are all corrupt so all of them merit a jail term not just only all jews or kalu you get it. so that is it so all jews or kalu said that it is because of his presidential ambition of 2022 that is why he's being persecuted and also to he made some certain wrong move against apc leaders that was last year remember when body won and also to the ninth assembly was actually the, um, the election was to be conducted for the ninth assembly all jews or carlo canvas for the position of the deputy senate president and he vowed that he is going to shut down apc if he was not given that because according to him he said this is unfair to the southeast it is it is unfairness that is where he described it that APC is not being fair to the South is that the South East have been marginalized and that the turn of the South East, if they are to actually balance the equation to produce the Deputy Senate President. You get so that is it. And to we Oshomole last year actually actually voiced out and attacked Na uh Ojo Zakalu. Oshomole attacked him and said that oh Jews Zakalu, go and face your EFCC case. And you know this EFC case have been lingering from 2007 up to 2019. So if Ojo Zakalu is to be jailed, which I support, he should be jailed. But let the fight be very, you know, let it be just. Let it be just. I'm not saying he should not be jailed. If he has done wrong, he, the law should take its course. But the truth of the matter here is that why is it a selective justice? Because it appeared to me it's lopsided judgment and it's selective in nature. I said it in my the other video. And if you want to look at it, what about Tenobu? Tenobu, in daylight, in daylight, money laundering activity were actually, you know, seen in broad daylight when Tenobu actually, you know, a, a bullion van was seen entering Tenobu's compound. What has EFC done up to now? Nothing. What about Ganduji? What about Ganduji of Kano State when a video circulated 
throughout the whole social media. That video is seen in social media of Gandu J collecting bribe. It was so obvious what has Buhari done? Nothing. Because he was anticipating winning Kano State before that election. So he didn't want to actually have a face-off with Gandu J. They, you know, Kano determines who is going to win. You guys, and so these people know the they this and they plotted. So that is it. So you can see that there is no corruption fight in this government. That is just to be frank and to tell you the truth. There's no corruption fight. And that is what Nam Dekano is saying here that if there is to be corruption fight, it must be fair, just everybody must go in for it. That is just the truth. It's just the truth. So what do you guys think? I want you to drop your own comment below. Let me know what you think. Before you leave, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you click that bell notification to remain updated with all our latest news and updates. And before you leave once again, please drop your comment. Let me know your mind, what you think. And then let's deliberate at the comment section. God bless you guys. God bless you real good. Thank you for watching my video.